It's the end of the year-ish, thank God. It's been an interesting one. So uh, we're gonna do this new thing where every year we're gonna kind of do a what's in our bag. Um, I ended up getting a new bag, so what better time than now to do this? So this is Tyler Stevenson. You guys Hello. have seen him in plenty of my other videos. Uh, I'm gonna let him kind of go through his bag first and then we'll go through mine and uh, it'll be a good time. So, you know, stick around. Oh, roll the intro, <laughs> boom. Well, I'll get through it. All right, so we had a crouch, unfortunately, because yeah, my setup. But well, so if you yeah. see us doing a little oompa loompa, and just to make you my height, so I don't feel as inferior. All right, let's do it. Uh, so I have a low pro. It is an M Trekker BP 150. It pretty much just looks like a standard backpack. You know, it's not very big. It's a, it's a nice form factor. It's very easy to carry. It's comfortable when you're wearing it. So I like it. So I guess we'll start on the outside with these two pockets here. I keep. My batteries in the zipper here. We just have my little baggie. I'm just little tools, little Allen wrenches and uh, little screw on things, extra screws for things. Just anything that I might need that like, you would usually just kind of toss somewhere. That's where I toss it. And then we've also got a zipper at the top here, which is also where I kind of keep some extra things. So I keep my, uh, like my gray card for white balance. I keep my, like my kit lens in case I need that. So it's nice and tiny. I got a portable charger. So, you know, charge up batteries, charge up my phone, charge up whatever I need. I got a microfiber cloth. You always got to have one of those handy. And uh, it's also where I keep like little adapters and stuff for, you know, the tripod or for mounts. An extra battery, like regular, normal size batteries but for- only like one of each. Yeah, well, this one is for the microphone. A, and this is for double. my, I uh, actually don't even have it, but my recorder. <laughs> so, you know, just one. You don't need more than one. Go into the inside. It opens from the inside of the backpack. Ah, hey. So we'll start with the, the main compartments here. We've got strap. So most importantly, camera, of course. Currently rocking a Sony A6500 with a Sony 85 uh, millimeter 1.8 lens. My other lens is a Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. One of my favorite lenses. Just kind of a good all around lens. My monitor here because you always need a monitor so you can see what you're doing. And it is an ICANN, I don't know the actual model number, I don't even think it's on there, but as well as, you know, the HDMI cable so you can, you know, hook it up to your camera. And then we've got my microphone, which is just a Rode VideoMic Pro, the original VideoMic Pro. I've got a longer cable here to attach that, as well as, you know, the dead cat, the windsock. Yeah. We've got like the little dummy battery uh, for if I, need just like longer, because A6500 is notorious for very bad battery life. So to have the little dummy battery where I can put more Sony MPF batteries, so I can use that to battery power my camera that way. So it lasts much longer. So I have that. And then we've got, everyone needs one of these. So you can uh, take pictures remotely because you never know when you might need to take a picture of yourself and then you can't do it without setting a timer and running and it's just a whole fiasco. So you definitely need one of those. I definitely didn't buy it last week. I had it, I always have it, I'm very prepared. <laughs> <laughs> then I've always got my, you know, various ND filters. I've got two just regular NDs and I've got a variable, a Tiffin, Typhon, Tiffin? Variable ND just so, uh, you know, if it's sunny out, you gotta have a ND filter along with step up rings. Yeah step up rings so that I don't need, you know, a filter for every single lens I own. Then, um, a quarter. I've got a quarter. Gotta have a quarter. You need a quarter just because there are certain things I can kind of see it with this right here. You gotta, it's easier to twist. So that's just, it's also easier to not bring an entire tool set with you with a flathead and everything or keeping a random flathead screwdriver in your bag. Cause that's like weird. And big, exactly. So. So you gotta have a little quarter. Uh, we've got basically just a bunch of chargers and stuff. So in here we've got the main, camera batteries and this little think tank battery holder. So I've got all four of my batteries along with the charger for them. And then in the bottom compartment, we have the charger for the, the Sony MPF batteries, as well as my two little road uh, lav mics. I think that just about covers it. I think the last, oh, already, hold on, huh? I think that just about covers it. <laughs> But the last thing oh. is it does have a little cover out. Yeah, I've pretty much stuffed everything in there. I think everything except like my drone or something, but usually I'll just like swap something out and put that in there. This is just kind of 
this covers everything. I don't use everything all the time, but it's in there. And then, you know, if I'm going on a specific shoot and I know I'm gonna need these things, I might replace the microphone with the drone or, you know, whatever I need to do. But it's good size, feels good on my shoulders. It's small, holds everything I need. And, you know, that's all you want in a backpack, honestly. Okay, so I have a uh, one of the, I guess not new, but I've seen them a lot on Instagram and whatnot. And I'm sure many of you've heard, uh, this is the Brevity Jumper Bag. Then this really bright, fancy yellow color so that it stands out and I never lose it. All right, well, I guess I'll start with a laptop pouch. It does have a laptop pouch uh, on the top here. Fits up to, I think, a 15 inch. So I just have the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1. So you should check out those videos if you haven't already. So that just lives in there. So this top section here, um, it's kind of like a half zip. I have my microphone, which is the Rode Video Micro. Um, so that works out pretty well. I've got two Aperture MC RGB lights. These things are super cool. Uh, they've got color temperature modes and they've also got RGB and a bunch of other things. And they're magnetic, so you can like stick them to anything like this light, which is super nice. So they can kind of go anywhere. They've got gels that you can take off, which is nice as well. And they wirelessly charge because why not? Uh, I also have two Sony MP batteries, very similar to the ones that he had, obviously, because they're very popular and they last a long time. So got two of those in there. And then finally, Atomos Ninja 5, really, really good uh, monitor and recorder. So if you're looking for something like that, this is primarily what I record on nowadays is straight off of this, so super good. There is a tiny zipper compartment on the inside here that I just put the HDMI cable in. I was actually looking for that a few minutes ago. So that's in there, go ahead and zip that up. So you got this very front pocket here, which in here I keep my notebook and then my hard drives. So I've got a four terabyte Western Digital and then I've got my 500 gig SSD for the Ninja, which I pretty much, you know, will store everything on temporarily. Uh, a card reader, a SATA drive reader for the SSD, the microphone cable, and then a USB-C to USB-C because you just can't have too many of those, obviously. So the cool thing about this bag is that it opens in the front, which I do like. And as you can see, everything kind of neatly fits in here. It's very bright. I love the contrast here. So I think that's kind of cool with the color that it's bright enough that like everything kind of stands out. Um, so I have a Peak Design quick release strap, which is like the Fujifilm one, which is cool that they did that. Um, of course, my camera, which most of you already know is the Fujifilm X-T4. And I currently have a 50 millimeter F2 prime lens on it. Super awesome camera, love it. Um, and then my other lens, which is just the kit lens that came with it. It's a 16 to 80 F4 lens, uh, super nice. Use this lens for pretty much everything if I'm not using the 50. And then I got my filters. So I got my Moment Cinebloom filter, which I made a really cool video on. Check that out my gobe variable nd filter which is very helpful my one step up ring because i'm not as fancy as him and i don't have a hundred um an extra fujifilm battery these ones are pretty good i've been very impressed with the battery life on the xt4 and then i've got the mavic air the original mavic air so i got the remote on top and then the drone nicely fits on the bottom here so that stays in there but just like tyler said um I'll swap things out as I need. So, you know, the drone will live in there if I feel like I need to have it with me. Otherwise, I'll find something else to stick in that little slot. So it's kind of interchangeable. And then I have the other two drone batteries in the bottom section there. The other cool feature about this is it does have a quick access side thing here, which I think a lot of people are, uh, that, that's a kind of the popular feature about this bag. You could quickly access it, you know, without screwing up your bag or scratching your camera or what have you. You have to take the bag off. You don't even have to take the bag off. It does have the little luggage strap thing. So if you do travel, which who's traveling nowadays, but if you are, you can stick it through uh, your suitcase, which is kind of nice. And then there's a secret little passport pocket or phone pocket on the back here. Water bottle uh, side component section here, which is nice or mini tripod. And then of course, a regular tripod strap on the bottom. That's what's in our bags. That's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. Shot on iPhone. Hey. Let me know what you guys think. Did it look good on the iPhone? iPhone 12 Pro Max? That's a lot of words. <laughs> but that's gonna, you wanna, you, you roll us out. <laughs> <laughs> not not roll physically. the outro.